Okay, so we're gonna start with the main riff of the song, the main intro of the song. Uh, what we're gonna do is the following. So we're gonna do that. Now, we're gonna go to the, uh, to, the a, to the A string, to the fifth. We're gonna strike on the seventh fret three times. Then we're gonna go to the D string and we're gonna strike twice. And then what we're gonna do on the, on the D string, we're gonna strike nine, seven, and 10 on the, on the A string, okay? And then we're gonna go back to the seventh position on the A string and we're gonna strike three times. And then to finish that, we're gonna go to the fifth position on the A string and we're gonna strike three times. Now, we're gonna repeat this, uh, this section three times and then we're gonna end the, the riff on a, on a different way. Okay, let's go one more time and then we just go with the final part. time and then to end end the, the section we're gonna do we're gonna do that it's pretty much the same thing we're gonna go to the seven on the a string strike three times then seven on the D string strike three times and then we're gonna go and we're gonna change it and go to nine on the on the G string. We're gonna strike three times, sorry. Three times, and then to the nine of the D string. And we strike three times. That's pretty much about it. And then we're gonna go with the main burst. Okay, so with the main burst, we're gonna do the following. We're gonna do that. Then we're gonna change it. What we're gonna do? We're gonna play on the. We're gonna strike the A, the A, the open A string, just one time, and then we're gonna slide to the 13 of the B string, and then 14 of the G string. Then we're gonna go to 12 of the E string, then 12 of the B string, and then 15 of the E string. Okay, that's the movement. If you listen to the original original track, you can see that the the timing it's it, it changes, uh, so we can listen to other parts of the song. So try to to to, uh, to listen carefully that that section, and it's kind of kind of it's kind of like that. It's it's a little bit awkward. So you can notice that we actually we do we did something different. We are still playing the same notes but we are changing the way uh, we are playing it. So we uh, do uh, two rounds of this, okay, two measures of this, and then we're gonna go to the G chord. Notice that I'm not, I'm not uh, playing on the, on the, I'm not using the, the, the E string, I'm just striking all the other chords, all the other strings. And then A minor, we're gonna do an A minor chord. And we just strike once, okay, and then we just let it ring. And then we're going to start again with the with the same thing we were doing. It's pretty much it's actually the same thing. And then we're going to do the same thing with it right here with the G and A minor. And we're going to go again to G and again to A minor. And then we're going to go again again to G and we're going to let it ring and then A minor. Same same uh, chords. It's G and A minor. That's the only the only chords we're going to use. And then the chorus comes in. All right, so on the chorus, uh, we're going to we're going to basically play basically play the main riff of the song, the intro of the song. But we're going to do it in a in a different way. You can still choose uh, to to play it uh, without the octaves. We're going to use octaves right now. So basically we just if you if you want to play on the seven on the seven position, if you add the octave, we're gonna 
strike the 9 if you are in 7. Remember that the, the fourth uh, string in this case should be muted, okay? We are muting it with, the, with this finger. So we strike three times and then we go to 7 of the, 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 of the uh, D string and 10 of the B string. And then what we are going to do is we're going to do that. We're going to go to 9 of the D string and 12 of the B string. And then 9 of the, uh, I'm sorry, 10 of the D string, 10, 7 of the uh, D string and 10 of the B string. And then 10 of the A and 12 of the G. And then back to 7 and 9 of the A and the G. And we strike three times. Let's uh, go one more time. One more time. And it's the same idea with the intro, and then we go to 5 and 7, 5 of the A, 7 of the G string, and we strike three times. Now, we repeat this, uh, repeat this movement three times, the, this section three times. Well. And, I'm sorry, two times, and insta when we are ending it, what we are going to do, we're going to end it with 7 and 9, the same thing, we start the same way, then we go again to 7 and 10, same note, we strike three times, and then to finish, we're going to end with 9 and 12, and then 12 and 15, one more time. So we end it differently, and then uh, a mid, -sec mid section, which is a pre-solo, uh, comes in. Okay, so with, uh, before the solo, a mid section comes in, and what we are going to do it's the following: uh, we're going to be using a distortion. Uh, we were using a, a clean amp, clean sound, and with a classic di distortion would be would be fine, or maybe an overdrive that that would be good. Uh, what we're going to do is fine. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do two measures of that. Well, uh, we're gonna be starting uh, y using the uh, the first uh, string, the E string and the B string. We're gonna strike both at the same time, uh, three times. And remember, if you notice, I'm doing up down from up. I'm sorry, from down playing. Okay, up. I'm doing a, a, an up stroke, and I'm striking three times. That's pretty simple. Then we're gonna go to twelve of the B string. And do the same thing. The the E has to uh, has to be open. Then we're gonna go to 12 of the E string, and the, now now the B string is gonna sound open. One more time. And then we're gonna go to 12 of the B string and strike three times again. And we're gonna do two measures of that, so we start again. And then the solo comes in, and the solo it's, a, it's pretty simple. What we're gonna do? We're gonna go to ten of the B string, um, and we just we're gonna start playing. We're gonna do uh, ten and open E string. After we, pl we play it several times, and then we're gonna go to seventeen of the B string, and the E is gonna sound open, still open. And I'm gonna do a slide when I'm going from ten to seventeen. I we have to do a slide. And we're gonna do the same thing, 17 and open E string many times. And then what they're gonna do is 15, 15 of the E string and 17 of the B string. We're gonna strike one time and then we're gonna strike seven more times with the open E string. And then what we're gonna do? 
we can do that so it's same thing same idea 15 and 17 at the same time open open uh, E string and 17 of the B we strike twice and then again 15 17 open twice 15 17 and open one more time And then the final section comes in. Now, if you notice on the original track, uh, this uh, solo section uh, is going to steal. It's going to steal doing stuff uh, at the background. Um, it's really hard to to listen what what he's doing, but he's doing pretty much the same thing. It's pretty much doing that. This is uh, 15, 13, and 12. So it's not really important. Um, if you listen to the original track, it's there, but it's kind of hard to listen what he uh, he's exactly doing. Um, but with the final section, the the uh, the main guitar, the rhythm guitar, comes in again uh, with a clean sound, and we're gonna do, we do the same thing with it with the chorus. Same, same, same thing we did with the, with the chorus, and that's the end of the song.